Throughout football history, there have been some incredible players who not only dazzled on the pitch, but also gave their managers headaches with their attitudes and behaviour. Well, managing a team of talented footballers can be tough, but managing a team of divas is like trying to herd cats on a unicycle. Today, we're going to take a closer look at some of the great footballers who were notoriously difficult to manage. Did you remember the assist king? Well, Mesut Ozil was undoubtedly a great player, but managing him was no walk in the park. Arsene Wenger admitted that Ozil lacked discipline on the pitch, and defending wasn't his strongest suit. However, Wenger suggested that he made it work by surrounding him with more defensively-minded players and finding the right balance between attack and defence. Despite that, Wenger said that Ozil was not a fan of the modern style of play, suggesting that he longed for a time when attackers didn't have to worry about defending. Well, it seems that managing Ozil was like playing a game of Jenga. One wrong move and the whole team comes crashing down. But managing legends is never easy, and Neymar is no exception. The Brazilian superstar may only be 31 years old now, but a couple of years ago, he was already giving his coaches headaches with his behaviour both on and off the pitch. Reports suggest that Neymar was notorious for arriving late to training and skipping drills he didn't like. And let's not forget his penchant for drinking, partying and binge eating junk food. It's a good thing he's got some serious talent to make up for his lack of discipline. But if he wants to be a true football legend, he's got to start taking things more seriously. Speaking of superstars with discipline issues, another footballer who comes to mind is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Seems like Aubameyang has a bit of history when it comes to discipline issues. The guy goes to a Barca match, chats up their president, and suddenly he's all like, take me back, I'll even take a pay cut. Then there's that time he got kicked out of Arsenal for being a bad influence on the team. And he had the nerve to say Arteta can't handle big players. I guess he thinks he's the big man on campus. But maybe he needs to learn some humility. But at least Aubameyang isn't the party animal, unlike the next one. It's no surprise that managing Ronaldo Luis Nazario was like trying to tame a wild stallion. The man would literally cut corners during training, and his teammates had to beg the coach not to push him too hard. But the real challenge was his party lifestyle. The guy would have buses full of girls show up to his Real Madrid bashes. And he wasn't the only Brazilian doing it. Roberto Carlos was just as bad, with training sessions scheduled around his late night partying. As they say, the Brazilians were different. Another demanding footballer on the list is Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe is like a supernova. He shines so bright on the field that he's hard to ignore, but the closer you get, the more explosive he becomes. Just ask France coach Didier Deschamps. He once said that when Mbappe's in a bad mood, it's like walking on eggshells. And let's not forget Mbappe at PSG. Neymar and Mbappe have both had their fair share of disagreements with teammates. Thomas Tuchel and Unai Emery both struggled with keeping the peace and getting the best out of their star-studded squad. Speaking of stars, despite being one of the greatest football players of all time, Cristiano Ronaldo is not without his quirks when it comes to being managed. His second stint at Old Trafford was full of drama, such as leaving the Spurs game before the final whistle. Even his former coach at Juventus, Maurizio Sarri, found him difficult to manage because he had to consider Ronaldo's personal interests. During his time at Real Madrid, he reportedly fell out with some of his teammates, including Sergio Ramos and Marcelo. Well, Ronaldo is like a Ferrari, high maintenance, but when he's firing on all cylinders, he is unstoppable. And maybe we can say that managers don't manage Zlatan. Zlatan manages managers. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is a name that strikes fear in the hearts of many defenders. During his career, Zlatan has been involved in some pretty wild incidents. Take the time he had a bust-up with teammate Oguchi Onyewu. Apparently, during a training session, Zlatan lunged at him two-footed before headbutting him, all because he was frustrated with the then-Barcelona coach Pep Guardiola. In another match, he punched Marco Rossi in the stomach, earning himself a three-match ban. And let's not forget the time he was shown a second yellow card for mouthing off to a referee's assistant. It seems like managing Zlatan is no easy feat. But let's be real, with his incredible talent, he's worth the hassle. Elsewhere, Diego Costa, the fiery striker with a temper as hot as his name, is known for his numerous acts of indiscipline throughout his career. 
During his first loan spell at Celta, he was so undisciplined that the press couldn't help but report on it. In one particular instance, he even celebrated an opponent's goal by dancing by the corner flag. And when he decided he wanted to leave Chelsea to return to Atletico in 2017, he didn't hold back on trying every trick in the book. He even skipped a training session, and as punishment, Chelsea made him park his car in the B-team area. Talk about a rebel with a cause. Likewise, in 2022, Romelu Lukaku stirred up controversy at Chelsea by publicly bashing Tuchel and expressing his dissatisfaction with his place in the team during an interview. Football pundit Graham Souness criticised Lukaku's comments as ridiculous and damaging to the club, adding that the striker's behaviour showed immaturity for a player of his age. Souness further argued that Lukaku's remarks were disrespectful to Chelsea manager Thomas Tuchel. But boy, oh boy, nothing can be compared to the mess created by Mario Balotelli. One infamous example of this occurred during his time at Manchester City, when Balotelli missed an open goal by attempting a 360-degree turn. This move was widely criticised by fans and commentators alike, who saw it as a needless show of arrogance and disrespect towards the opposition. Even Balotelli's own manager at the time, Roberto Mancini, was left fuming by the incident. But that's not all. He has done other unique things like being photographed with mobsters, setting off fireworks in his own bathroom, or hurling darts at youth players. And maybe Tevez learned a few tricks from Balotelli's playbook. Tevez was one of the best South Americans to ever hit up the Premier League. But let's be real, the guy was a handful to manage. At West Ham and Man United, he was all good. He didn't cause any trouble. But when he moved to City, things started to go south. He started acting out and not doing what the manager said. Remember that time when he straight up refused to warm up during a Champions League match against Bayern Munich? That was insane. He got stripped of his captaincy and booted off the team. And instead of practicing with the squad, he was out playing golf for months. Talk about a diva move. So what are your thoughts on these great but difficult to manage players? Do let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.